What's up and welcome to LWP MC. I decided to rebrand my channel from the creative way to LWP MC because of a few reasons. One, I wanted to focus on primarily Minecraft content. Two, um, I really just enjoy Minecraft more than the other things that Creative Way was supposed to be about. And three, because I wanted to make high quality videos for you guys that had a channel name that fit. Uh, the Creative Way is still a YouTube channel. Uh, I will, it's linked on my YouTube channel page. It has now become my second YouTube channel. Um, all the videos are re-uploaded on that one. So if you guys want to watch any of the other ones, I'll be uploading there once a month. Well, I'll still be uploading here once a week. All right, with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. This video is sponsored by Sangata. Sangata is the one-stop shop intended to make finding the ideal plugins for your Minecraft server simple. They uphold reasonable and just business practices by acknowledging client and creator feedback and are continually improving their platform. Make sure you guys check them out with the links below to find unique plugins for your Minecraft server. So today, we are going to be doing a plugin called Jobs Reborn. If you guys have not heard of this plugin, it is the best plugin I have ever used um, for jobs in a Minecraft server. It's so good that even these villagers wish they could have the jobs that Jobs Reborn offers to players on your server. So let's jump right in. So if we do the main command jobs, then it gives us this. So um, the first thing we're going to take a look at is just uh, doing jobs browse, which is how your players can decide to pick their job. So it comes up with this really nice GUI that says pick your job. So you could be a digger, uh, you can be a woodcutter, a builder, and there's tons and tons of jobs. So if you pick on any of these, such as builder, then these are the things that will get you money on the server and this hooks into Vault and Essentials Eco. So I would definitely recommend having those plugins on your server. If they're a builder and if they want to choose it, they just have to right click. And it says over here, I have joined the job builder. So what does this do if we've joined a job? Well, if we go ahead and we decide since we're a builder, we just want to place some of these blocks. It will level us up if we place enough give us money every time we level up, and every time we place a block that qualifies, it will give us experience. And each experience point goes to leveling up, and now I've placed enough blocks to get to level four. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other things. Uh, the next thing we want to take a look at is the jobs clear ownership command. So if we do that of LWP, it will clear the ownership of furnaces, brewing stands, smokers, and blast furnaces. So let me show you how that works. So if we get a furnace, uh, and we place some of them down, then we have registered ownership for these furnaces. So let's just place a few down, and go ahead and open them all, and it will register all of them for us. So now we have 12 furnaces registered. If we do that again, it says removed 12 furnaces, which is great. Um, so now if we do that again, it will not remove anything else because it has already removed our ownership. And if we own the furnace, then um, others will not be able to use jobs demote. So that would be us from builder, and how many levels we want to demote them from. So let's say, I'm at level five, so let's do three. And now we've been demoted three levels. So if we build up again, just a few blocks here, you can see we're now level two again, instead of level five like we were, which is very cool. The next thing we're going to take a look at is jobs, edit, jobs. So as you can see, we have digger, woodcutter, builder, farmer, hunter, blah, 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 blah. If we click on them, then uh, since we have miner, we have TNT, break, place, kill. Uh, let's click on break. And we can remove or add blocks that give the miner money. 
which is super, super cool. It's fully customizable. You don't even have to go into the config and you can just edit your jobs just like that. So um, let's do that command again. Jobs, edit jobs. And let's click on builder since that is the one we have selected. Let's click on place and uh, let's remove block of iron and block of gold so it does not count towards our total. So if we get a block of gold, if we get a block of gold and we get a block of iron, just like this, because we removed them, they will no longer give us any points. Whereas if we placed some wood, that does give us points. So there is no need to go into the config for that. Let us add, enter a new name or press hand or looking at. So if we're looking at a block and we wanna add it or it's in our hand, then we can press hand or press looking at to get that block and add it. But let's just do, um, for now, let's add iron block and that will give it now. So the money I believe it should give is $2. The points I believe it should give is also two and the experience I'll just put as two as well. So now if we get another iron block and we start placing it, we'll be getting two every time we place one of those blocks. And it will give us quite a bit since uh, we this is such an expensive block. Okay, so now we'll take a look at employ. So if we do jobs employ, LWP, and we do minor, for instance, we will also join the job minor. So I believe if we break some stone or some iron ore or something like that, we should now be getting points from it, yes. Slash jobs XP underscore LWP for minor, and we'll add uh, 50. So now we are at level three. So the next one is jobs fire, and we'll do player name from minor. Now it'll say I have been fired from Miner. I use Solnode to run my servers and they are amazing. They are affordable and they offer really great customizable plans for your needs that you can use for any type of server situation you have. So you should really go check them out using my link in the description box below. It will give me 15% of whatever you buy and it really helps me out. The next one is jobs grant XP LWP to builder and the amount of experience. So let's do 50 experience. Let's do jobs join and let's do hunter, which is just a simpler way than doing jobs browse, but it does not give you the cool GI that has there. And then if we do jobs leave, then we can leave Hunter. Jobs level is the same thing as jobs experience. It just adds or takes or sets the amount of levels that the player has. Jobs owned blocks, because we unregistered all those furnaces earlier, we don't have anything, so let's quickly get another furnace and place it and register it. Then it will say furnace right there. And if we break it, that means we have unregistered it, so it says nothing to show. So that is working properly. Now, if you have placeholder API, then you could do jobs, placeholders, and it will give you any placeholders that you can use on the scoreboard or something like that which is very useful to have. Okay, so if we do jobs player info, and then the player name and builder, and um, that would be place, I believe. Yep. Then we can see how much we get for each of these. If we do jobs points, then we can show how many 
points a player has. So let's just do that really quickly. And it says we have 295 points. Um, if we do jobs promote, then it will promote the a certain amount of levels from the builder job. So let's promote 70 levels. So if we build up a little bit, there will be a bar here that says level 73, just like that, which is really cool how you can just promote people a certain amount of levels. So next is jobs stats. And as you can see, it will give us the job stats for the player. Um, if we do that for a different player, it will give us a different player stats, obviously. Jobs transfer underscore LDP from builder to hunter, let's say. Then we have been transferred to builder, from builder to hunter. But if we transfer from hunter to builder back, it will just transfer that. And I believe it will not take any points away from us. Yep, all right. And the last one is jobs toggle and the boss bar. So if we do that, then as you can see, when we build, it gives us not the boss bar at the top, but it will give us the action bar at the bottom, which is just fine. But we can toggle it back on, and we can toggle the action bar as well. So if we build up, we only see the boss bar, and we will see a message in chat that tells us how much we are getting. Um, we'll just turn it back on. And that is it for the jobs plugin. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, and again, thank you guys for supporting me through the rebranding of my channel. I hope you guys like all the new videos that are yet to come. And I will see you guys in the next video.